Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our brand new series, creating our first iOS application, Bullseye. Now, creating iOS apps and coding Swift, those two might sound completely different, but honestly, once you've learned how to code in Swift, creating iOS applications isn't too hard. It's just throwing on UI elements and writing the code behind that. So let's get started. Now, first thing first, go ahead and open up your Xcode, hopefully it's version nine or higher, and create a new Xcode project, okay? Now, while well, creating a new Xcode project is gonna show us a bunch of different applications, the app that we want is single view app, and for most of the apps in the series, we'll just be creating a single view application. Hit next. Now, the next thing it's gonna say is, what is your product name? What are we making? We're making Bullseye. So go ahead and say Bullseye team name. Now, if you do have a developer account, guys, go ahead and select your developer account. If you don't, just hit none, it's okay. It's not needed for now. Your organization name, so if you do have a website or if you have a company, go ahead and state that company or name over here. Otherwise, your first name is absolutely fine. And then your identifier is going to be what is your website URL. So if it's maybe the codex.com, maybe it's programmingforlife.com, whatever your URL is, if you don't have one, just say com dot and then your first name. So it's basically your um, URL flipped. Then your language should be Swift and then go ahead and ignore the last part over here and hit next. Now it's gonna ask you, where do you wanna save this? So I'm gonna go ahead and save it in my code directory, hit create, and now we've created our first Bullseye project. Fantastic. Now, when you're creating Xcode apps, uh, we're just creating iOS apps in general, Xcode uses something known as MVC. It's called the Model View Controller Approach. And since iOS 8, or I think since the very beginning, Xcode has used this uh, Model View Controller Approach to make its iOS applications. So what does that mean? So the Model View Controller stands for Again, models, views, and controllers. Your models are your structures. So when we learned about enums, when we learned about structs, when we learned about classes, that's where your models are. You know, they're the hierarchy, they're that blueprint for how your data is gonna look like. Your views are what the user sees. So if you go to your main.storyboard file, your main.storyboard file has all the views that your user is going to see. So this view over here, I can drag and drop elements onto my screen. That's what the user is gonna see, that's my view. And last but not least, my controller. My controller file is where all my code goes with user interaction. Let's say a user tapped the button. Let's say a user hit a switch. Let's say the user entered some text in a text field. No matter what the user interaction is, you can write the code to perform an action in your controller file. So that's model view controller in a nutshell, and that's how we're gonna make all of our iOS applications. So what I want to do is just to end off this lecture really simply, I'm gonna go ahead and in my main not storyboard, on the right hand side, if you don't see this right hand side, go ahead and click this right button over here. This opens up the right hand pen view. And at the bottom over here, we have these four buttons. These four buttons allow us to create code quickly, to create structures quickly. And the third button allows us to add objects to our view. So we're gonna go ahead and search for a label. Go ahead and drag and drop this label onto our screen and center it. So let's center it. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a bit bigger and then I'm gonna go ahead and center the text. Now, to get this view, make sure you selected the caret view. This is called the attribute inspector. Go ahead and call this hello world. Fantastic. And then I'm gonna go ahead and center the text, save this and run it. So this honestly could be an iOS application, guys. It's that straightforward, it's that simple. You add objects to your view and then you run your code. So here is my simulator. Again, with Xcode 9, the simulator now looks like an actual iPhone, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and give it a few seconds to run. It definitely takes a few seconds for it to load the entire application. And let's give it a few more seconds over here. Fantastic, hello world. So that's it guys, that was creating our very first application. And now in the next few lectures, we'll go ahead and understand how to actually add different elements, add the code behind it, and get a fully functioning bullseye application working. I'll see you in the next video.